Good morning. Uh, this is Sandeep, and in the last video, we saw that how we can um, implement Google Juice in our application to produce objects. Now, in this uh, video, we are going to see that how we can inject constant uh, dependencies. So, for example, if you have a class, uh, it's and it's dependent on some constant values such as a string and integers then how we can tell Google juice to inject those values in it so uh, this is the code uh, which I have uh, from the previous video and let's just run it and see and verify if it works fine yes it draws me a square now let's just have a quick recap of the life cycle of how it builds the object graph when you ask for just a square request so you just ask for square request and Google juice goes ahead and builds object graph in order to produce a square request so I'll just open app module and we'll have it here uh, yeah so let's just go ahead so uh, what I am doing is I just ask for the square request over here in this line now Google juice says that square request is a concrete class so its binding might be present or might not be present uh, in the app module so it goes and checks over here in the bindings whether it's present it finds that there is no binding present for square request at all so google juice tells that's that's fine um, binding is not present but since it's a concrete class it can go ahead and create an instance of this square request um, so it just goes ahead and attempts to create an object of square request using this constructor on which inject annotation is annotated while doing that it encounters that to do uh, this constructor to fulfill the needs of this constructor it needs a draw shape now draw shape is an interface so google juice knows that since it's an interface its binding should be present in the bindings uh, in the app module otherwise it will not be able to fulfill this constructor and it will throw error so it goes and checks here and it finds that yes there is a binding present for draw shape so whenever a draw shape is needed it has to instantiate an object of draw square and supply it over here so after that it goes to the draw square and sees that there is uh, this class which has no args constructor over here even though I have not written it compiler would have introduced it uh, so it uses that no args constructor in order to make an object of draw square and then it injects the draw square over here and that's how it obtains me a square request and gives me back here and that's how uh, the whole object graph gets built right so uh, I was talking about constant bindings now so let's get started on that part uh, so uh, let's see this draw square so right now draw square just draws me a simple square it doesn't uh, draws me a square based on some edge size or color or color size right so let's imagine that we have constants here called as uh, you know color or edge and it draws me a square of that edge size and of that color so it basically depends on those constant values so let's just go ahead and write the code for that So I have got color and edge here and I can take these dependencies now in the constructor of uh, draw square. So I am taking now these dependencies and I want Google juice to inject these dependencies. So I shall write inject over here. And we'll configure uh, how these dependencies could be injected from Google Juice. Here we'll just modify our logic to draw a square of this color uh, and this edge size. Drawing square of color. So we have modified the logic to draw a specific square of a specific color and edge based on the inputs what it gets in its constructor over here right so what we are left now is uh, we have to configure that how these dependencies should be injected over here how these constant bindings should be injected over here so all this work is being done in the app module and the bindings over here so what we can say is 
let me just pull this down over here so that you can see all of the code so what we can say over here is that mine string now we want to bind it to a constant so we say two instance so this two instance is used to bind a constant value so what we can say is maybe the color to be injected is red and same way uh, we could inject the value for this integer type you can say wherever you find integer uh, we can tell google choose that wherever it finds integer it has to inject a value of let's say 40 so we have configured these dependencies also now uh, now if i just run this code you can see that drawing square of color red and edge 40 right so again it uh, goes with the same object graph building which i told you the only additional thing uh, that it does is that when it encounters draw square uh, it just says that it depends on these things uh, on these constant values then it consults the bindings over here it finds that the bindings are defined and it goes ahead and injects those uh, dependencies over here in order to obtain a draw square right now uh, one more thing here to notice is that uh, we have written that wherever Google Juice finds string, it has to inject a value of red, and wherever it finds integer, it has to inject a value of 40. So it might happen in your application that you have other places on which there are constructors where they are taking string or integers. So in this case, if you configure it like this, then Google Juice will go ahead and inject the value of red or inject the value of 40. Um, over uh, those places also so we don't want that to happen we want to tell google juice that it has to inject these constant values only in the case of uh, draw square so how to address uh, this problem or how to tell google juice this specific information so what we can do is we can annotate color over here and edge uh, over here with our own uh, newly created uh, annotations and then we can configure uh, in the bindings that wherever it sees those annotations then only inject those value of red and 40 so let's just go ahead and see how we can do that over here we can annotate uh, this as color value now color value is right now uh, not created it's it's it is supposed to be an annotation so i'll just go ahead and create this annotation uh, in the package com.drawingapp.annotations so i have created this and here i need to have a binding annotation so this tells google juice uh, this annotation is going to tell google juice that color value annotation is going to be used uh, while it's binding the values so over here you have used the color value right so it just uh, tells google juice that color value is a sort of binding annotation so wherever it sees this uh, it has to interpret that it's a binding annotation and it has to bind the value according to this annotation and that we'll see in a moment how it binds the value according to this annotation so uh, this is what we need here and we also need to define target and retention policies over here in the interface just like in any other case where you create uh, uh, any other kind of annotation we, we define uh, you know uh, target and retention things so same way we need to define it over here so finally we have defined uh, target and retention target is uh, supposed to tell that where this annotation can be uh, placed uh, in this field uh, in this uh, particular case it's field parameter or method and retention is going to tell uh, that where this uh, where this uh, annotation is going to be stored whether it's supposed to be saved uh, in the source code or it is supposed to be available on runtime well uh, this is how we create uh, an annotation if you don't know how to create an annotation or if you are not aware of this concept that's fine you can uh, create the annotation just like the way I have created by taking the help of the Eclipse and uh, you can use the same template to create any sort of uh, annotation uh, for Google Juice and all you need to do is modify this uh, annotation name itself so we have created this uh, color value annotation and over here we can create edge value annotation in the same way create annotation and in the package of annotation so it has created this and I'll uh, just paste the other things which 
which I used to create a color value annotation earlier. So creation of annotation is done now. Uh, we have created and we have annotated these things and now it's time to tell Google Juice that wherever it sees string class uh, and that too annotated with color value annotation then it has to go ahead and inject a value constant value of red and here I need to tell Google Juice that wherever it sees uh, integer and that too annotated with edge size or oh, I'm sorry edge value annotation then it has to go ahead and inject a value of instance so that's how we are telling Google Juice that uh, it has to inject a string value of red and integer value of 40 wherever annotate wherever these kinds of annotations are present and these kinds of annotations are present only in this case only in the draw square so that's how uh, we can configure uh, constant bindings and if we run that we should get the same result drawing square of color red and edge uh, 40 thank you very much